Hello, this is Golf Ming. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to test the washing machine, the drain pump, with the multimeter. And I also have a test run with this test port to determine not the draining problem comes from the drain pump itself or from the control board. Let's start. Multimeter is the only tools we need it. This is a front load washing machine, the drain pump assembly. This is the drain pump. This is the drain filter. This inlet connect the hose from the top. This outlet connect the drain hose to pump the water to the drain hose. Generally speaking, there's two ways to fasten pump onto the filter housing. The first way is to use screws to fix pump onto the filter housing. You can see here, a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. On the filter housing, there's a few tapped hole for screw to turn in. So you can screw in to fasten pump onto the filter housing. This way is called the screw fixing system. Another way is on this pump. So this one is called bayonet fixing system. Why is it called a bayonet fixing system? Because this way did come from the history, from the socket bayonet. Soldier used this way to attach bayonet on the end of the rifle or musket. Click this link for more interesting history about the socket bayonet. BNC radio frequency quick connector is another example of a socket bayonet quick connection. The way is a slide and a twist. For here, we use the reverse way to twist and slide out. You can see this is an easy twist and then slide out. After we disassemble the pump from the filter housing, we can use the meter to check the coil to see if it's a short or open. So turn on to the ohm, put two probe on the two terminals here. Usually the ohm is about a tin. So this is about a 12, this is a good by the resistance. You can see another one, this one. This from the ohm, from the resistance, it looks good too. But this is not the condition you can judge the pump is good by the resistance. But if the resistance is zero, or open no resistance like this, definitely the pump coil is bad. Next, I call it impeller turn test. I use my finger to turn this. You can feel at some point the over the resistance and then free. See here? So this means it looks good, but if you turn the impeller, there are no resistance, it's constantly move. That's a, the sign of a bad motor. So you can see this motor, just a minute ago, we test the resistance here, it looks like it's good. So, but when you turn the impeller, this one is constantly no bigger resistance at some point, like this one. So this one, you turn over some part, they over. So this test I call is impeller turn test. Sometimes this is a more uh, practical, good way to test the pump, if it's work or not. When you happen to disassemble it from the housing, Next, I introduce this test cord for test around the pump. 
So this is a regular 15 amps plug, a very receptable, the circuit breaker in, and I put a switch here to turn it on and off. In the end here, I use the female spade connector to connect to the pump terminal here. So let we put it on, have a test run for the pump. So first, I plug this connector in. And then when I check the switch is off right now, it's off. And then plug in. Okay. I can turn it on. So the test card you can use in the troubleshooting. After you uh, working on the washing machine, if you can access the pump, you are not sure this is the, after you clean the filter and the pump, you're not sure pump is running or not you can hook up this test cord to the pump and hook up to the 120 uh, receptacles to see if this pump is running. Okay, let me test this pump. I unplug it first, disconnect this, hook up this, It's off position, plug in. Turn it on to see. Okay, so this pump the running seems looks good, but actually this pump doesn't work even it's running. So that's why I said in the impeller test mode, this pump doesn't have the resistance when you turn the impeller. This is an old test related to front load washer drain pump. Hope you enjoy this video. I appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos coming up. Thank you for watching. See you next time.